Greece does not border on countries at war. The people who choose to get into boats, which are unseaworthy and are driven by people who have no experience of the sea, obviously set human lives at risk. Peter Kessler is a senior communications officer for the UNHCR, and coincidentally, Peter is in Athens. Just a coincidence, of course. And, Peter, I won't ask you uh, to make a legal judgment on what's happening on behalf of the UNHCR. That would be unfair. But uh, what about the fact that the father says clearly he wasn't trying to put his child's life in danger and what the case means for parents in similar situations who are clearly leaving countries like, well, take your pick, Somalia, Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, to give a better life to their children? Well, this is clearly a very, a very alarming, um, a very, very concerning approach um, by the uh, Greek prosecutors. We were as stunned as anyone else last November when we were made aware of these, uh, these charges. Um, obviously, UNHCR um, believes the justice system will operate fairly and give a, uh, a, uh, a uh, well-reasoned uh, resolution. But clearly, these are people in desperate straits, fleeing their homeland, trying to find a, a safe country where their rights will be respected. And uh, the, the father, of course, suffered this, this tragic loss uh, with the drowning of his son. And it seems grossly unfair that he's now being prosecuted. The EU Border Patrol Agency, Frontex, also the Greek Coast Guard, are accused of pushbacks when uh, migrants uh, are sent back to the country they've come from when trying to reach the European Union. And there are two concurrent cases. There's the one that Sarah, our correspondent, is reporting on regarding the father and uh, the charges against him. But the father himself is suing the Greek Coast Guard for taking so long to come to their rescue when the dinghy got caught in that bad weather. I mean, what's the situation here in terms of the rights of refugees? Well, what UNHCR knows is that um, across the frontiers of Europe, at sea and on land, uh, there have been uh, numerous allegations of pushbacks by, uh, by uh, governmental authorities. Um, they, uh, they, uh, they occur uh, throughout, of course, the Mediterranean and, uh, and uh, land borders. And UNHCR is very concerned. Um, effectively, asylum rights are at risk um, in uh, a number of countries, it seems, because the, the allegations of pushbacks at, at land and at sea um, are too numerous to ignore. Um, and uh, the allegations, of course, don't just arise in Greece, but uh, from a number of countries, um, including, of course, uh, uh, here at the Aegean. In terms of legal protections uh, under international law that refugees have, how important is the balance between international law and quite simply a human quality, and that quality being compassion? When you look at refugees and where they find new homes, the vast majority find homes in the countries that surround the nation they are fleeing from. But that balance between law and compassion, is one lacking? Is there an imbalance? Well, Europe has always been very generous towards supporting international humanitarian action. And when uh, the circumstances have arisen of accepting people in European countries. And of course, we saw Greeks um, and other Europeans open their homes, um, provide assistance at borders, help um, more than a million people that arrived in the 2015-2016 uh, period and others who've arrived since. So Europe as a continent has been very generous. Um, but of course, we all feel compassion, but there needs to be a, uh, a examination process for asylum claims. And if people are pushed back or if people are left 
to drown, um, that is clearly not giving individuals the chance to lodge their claim and to have that heard. And now Europe, um, the, uh, the, uh, one of the most industrialized and uh, successful regions of the planet, clearly have the, uh, the mechanisms, the legal apparatus to uh, examine asylum claims. And this is what happens every day across the continent. So there should be no problem now with the number of asylum claimants having dropped massively in recent years to handle the small number of people that are approaching the borders of Greece or other countries. These are manageable numbers. They can be handled by the system, and people have a right to have their claim heard. Peter, I appreciate your time. Thank you for talking to us on TRT. Well, Peter Kessler from the UNHCR.